And we stay with the lightweight men's double skulls for repechage number two. Следва репешаж, втора серия, двойка с гол, лека категория мъже. This is the line-up from the inside lane one, the Czech Republic. Първи коридор са отбора на Чехия. Lane two, Turkey. Втори, Турция. In three, it's Poland. Трети, Польша. In four, Great Britain. Четвърти, Великобритания. And in five, it's Austria. Пети, Австрия. Once again, it's the first two to go through to final A, Franz Oberkleid. Indeed, the final two places will be had for the final A for the lightweight men's double skulls. An interesting lineup here again. We just saw qualifying for the finals. That was Portugal and Hungary, two quality crews there. And let's see who will be able to join them. Of course, GB in this particular heat, Jonathan Clegg and Chris Body. They didn't have a good role yesterday. They will aim to do this, uh, correct this today. Also, the Poland crew, Milos Janjowski and Mariusz Stanchuk, they are also in contention here for the final spots. Unfortunately, the German European champions, Linus Lichtschlag and Lars Hattig, they are not racing here. So we will have a new European championship champions in this particular event at the end of tomorrow's racing. So let's see who might be able to join them over there. Turkey, of course, one of the Turkish crews here in the races at the European Championships. It's good to have them and actually Turkish rowing is enjoying a bit of an upswing. They have a good international lightweight pair and they are also doing very well in other events. So good to have them here and let's see whether or not they have a shot at the final. They're racing from lane two. Already past the first 250 meters and already uh, seeing what will the action be. Here looking at the GB quad, Jonathan Clegg and Chris Bolly. New combination there, Clegg raced in lightweight men's four at the under 23 world championships earlier this year. And that was the end of July, so they'll have a summer of training together and switching from sweep rowing to sculling. The under 23 world championship had a dramatic turn for Jonathan Clegg. He was the defending world champion. He was in the four that won gold in Brest in 2010. But then in 2011, in the well tough conditions in Amsterdam, he missed out on the spot in the A final. So they only got as far as the B final. Now that, of course, was not the end that he had hoped for for his international racing season here. So here he is at the European Championship, sitting in the bow seat of the lightweight men's double skulls for GB. Let's see how he does there. Now already looking here at the backs of, I think this would be the Austrians. Then here it's still seeing uh, the Turkish races that was opposed correctly. And then we should see in lane one, sculling here, the Czech Republic. Still all crews at a relatively high rate and now crossing the thousand meter mark. And it looks as though the Czech Republic is doing quite well. It looks as though GB is doing quite well. Those are the two crews here to watch out for. But then again, Poland is also making a move there. So it's going to be Poland and GB and then uh, just at the bottom, it's Austria who will be fighting it out. Again, this all-important second place. First place and second place, that gets you into the finals A. So at the moment, GB doing everything that's required of them. And now here we see them in the race. The sculling is good, they're still good together, their blade work is technically correct, so that's something that they have got under control. But let's see what push the Poles or the Austrians might be able to make in the second half of this race. One half of the race gone, second half of the race now in progression. It looks as though Turkey and the Czech Republic have difficulty keeping up with the pace. They let, I think, about a length of water down from the leaders in this particular event. Now here again, we see the race, and it is number four Balba of GB there, which is being pursued by Poland from the number three lane. And then at the bottom of the field, it's Austria. So at the moment, it is GB and Poland making the finals A. And then that would mean 
that both Austria, Turkey and the Czech Republic would find themselves racing in Final B. Now still in contention there, you see them looking over their right shoulder where the GB crew is at the moment and they're still within striking distance there so that's always a good thing to maintain contact so that you know that if you have a push left in your leg you'll be able to execute it and hopefully the reaction will be such that you will be in the lead but that's not yet the case at the moment approaching the 1500 meter mark let's see where things stand I think it's still GB leading the way here the camera angle a bit deceptive but that the Austrians are trying to make a push there and it's GB it's Poland and it's Austria in third then it's Turkey and then it is the Czech Republic so in that order we had towards the finish here and now it comes down to racing whether or not GB will be able to hold on to their lead actually they've taken down their rate a bit so it might might come down to the final sprint for them but they're in energy saving mode at the moment that cannot be said from the Austrians they will have to fight for it if they want to make it in tomorrow's final and then Poland we cannot yet see them on the screen here but they are at the moment sitting in second position they might make a push to try and overtake the GB double but they know if they are within the first two spots that will get them somewhere Austria of course we have seen a number of lightweight Austrian rowers earlier this year in international events they had a lightweight four at the world championships and a lightweight eight in earlier seasons and now the athletes have been scattered throughout various boats and they're racing here at the European Championship. They're doing quite well but not well enough at the moment fortunately to make it to the final as Poland have upped the rating and have upped the boat speed a bit trying to overtake GB. GB still sitting there in at the moment second position and they know that they'll have need to maintain that second position. Now looking at Poland who now has about a half a length over GB and now the crew's heading towards the line. The grandstand already sees it, encourages them towards the line and that will wrap up another round of uh, um, Represhard racing here at the European Championship. It's going to be Poland who are going to be taking this race home and now crossing the line is GB in the all important second position but not a lot between the crews great challenge there by Austria but they just came short for that all important second position now it's Turkey in fourth and the Czech Republic in fifth